Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of You Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to leave something with you. And let me be very crystal clear to leave an impact like you've never had before. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin, so you tried lifting the lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid is so heavy, it prevents you from getting out. You think you're going to die. But then you say, what if I bang on the lid? I can unsettle the dirt, and maybe, just maybe, someone on top might notice and start digging their way down towards me. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people standing by your grave. You just don't know that. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind before you start using drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose and take something that was given to you by God away, not just from yourself, which is your life, but you take it away from the people you love and they and love you most, your children, your grandchildren, your mother, your father, your husband, your wife. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be the person that I'm reading about on these index cards, the person that went to their grave without seeking help. Instead, reach out to people like myself at 844-405-HELP and let me help you take back your life. You can also text me at 631-599-0218 or you can email me at ralph, that's R-A-L-F, at takeyourlifebacktodayshow.com. There are people like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. He's an addiction recovery coach, a life coach. He and I always tell people like you that it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter where you came from. from. Your past does not matter. What matters is that you're here today seeking help because you want a brighter and better tomorrow. You can Google them at www.odysseyconsultant.org. You can call me at 516-458-2741. Larry will help you with your depression. To go from depression to happier times, from low self-esteem to higher self-esteem, from your addiction to your recovery, he will, 24 hours at a time, set up a plan for you to live a sober life and live with recovery. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy, 516-458-2741 www.odysseyconsultant.org. Let Larry and I help you take back your life. This is part two of today's fourth grade special that we're doing. And uh, with us is our special guest again. Uh, it's Shortstop, and he can say hello. Hi. Uh, Shortstop took a... Wow. Shortstop is destroying my studio, is what he's doing. Shortstop um, took a... Are you smarter than the fourth grader exam today? And he scored about 85. He got 11 out of 16 correct, which is equivalent to uh, what his grandmother did. So with that said, uh, I uh, contemplated or uh, came up with a whole list of uh, questions that a typical fourth grader would ask uh, their teacher on, on the first day. So what I'm going to do as I'm going to have him ask the question one by one. As he asks each and every question, I'll give an answer. So, Shortstop, start with your first question. What do the teachers expect from me? Well, Shortstop, the teachers, the classroom is a place of learning and respect. Anything that interferes with the atmosphere will not be tolerated. Do you know what that means, not tolerating? Uh. That means you're not allowed to do it. This means no talking, out of turn, rude behaviors, foul language, bullying, or any disregard of the rules before doing anything. Ask yourself if the behavior is respectful of the teacher to the other students and to yourself. If it isn't, don't do it. Fourth grade is going to be a great year for everyone, and I want to welcome you to your first day fourth grade year. It's question number two. What do I need for class? Wow, okay, well, you want to be prepared. So always come to class very prepared. Being prepared means having all your homework, books, and your pencil case. Next. What, what if I forgot something in my homeroom? For the first trimester, you may go back to your homeroom and get what you forgot. At the end of your first trimester, you will not be able to la uh, allow to go back to your homeroom. It is your responsibility, shortstop, to be prepared. Next one. What if I have a question or an answer? The fourth grade teachers love and encourage class participation. During the lesson, always raise your hand. However, you'll notice that during literacy, 
uh, discussion, for example, things are a little bit more casual. If you have an opinion or a question to add to this discussion, you may voice it without raising your hand, but do not yell at me. But never interrupt me or another teacher or another student. Next question. What do you do when you hear the bell? Run for the door. No, I'm kidding. Stop what you're doing. Be quiet and turn your attention to me, the teacher. Next. What if I forgot my homework? Homework counts towards your final marking period, day of shortstop. If you do not complete your homework, you receive a zero in the teacher's grade book and complete assignment during recess. What if I need to go to the bathroom? Do you have to go right now? No. Okay. Only one boy and one girl are allowed out of the classroom at a time. Raise your hand and point to the door. When the teacher nods, okay, get up, take the bathroom pass, and sign out. Hurry back, sign in, return the pass. You must get an okay nod from me, the teacher. Never leave without asking. Where do we go for a fire drill? Fire drills are very important, and teachers take them very seriously. You must be quiet and respectful at all times. During a fire drill, get up from your seat and line up. Follow your teacher to the assigned line and uh, line up for location. What if I need to sharpen my pencil? Look and see if someone else is using a sharpener. If, you not, if not, get up and go. No need to ask. If there is someone using it, be patient, wait your turn, and you will get to it. What if I'm absent? If you're absent, you are responsible for making up the work in a timely manner. See the absent folders when you return and pick up the material you might have missed. The teachers will not come looking for you. What if I have a band? If you have a band and miss class, it is your responsibility to go to the teacher at the end of the day and get the work that you missed. You are held responsible for the day's work and homework. When do you have snack and what can I bring to, in to eat? There will be a 10 minute working snack at the start of the third period. The purpose of the snack is to get you from breakfast to lunch, we encourage you to bring in a healthy snack. All fourth grade classrooms are peanut butter and uh, tree nut free. Please make sure you snack meets this requirement. What if I am confused or need help? Ask questions. More questions, the better. If you are still confused, ask your teacher for extra help. She or he is more happy to see students before school. Whatever you do, don't ignore the confusion. Okay, so now, shortstop, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you these questions and I want you to answer the best you can memorize what I told you, okay? You don't have to give the whole thing. All you have to do is give me a simple uh, answer, okay, shortstop? Mm -hmm. What Shortstop, what do teachers expect from you? Um, a good language and um, not doing bad things. Very good. Okay, shortstop. What do I need for what do you need for class? You need to be prepared and have everything you have with your workbooks. Perfect. What if you forget something in your homeroom? Uh in the first trimester you can only go back once and then the end of it you you cannot go back and it's your responsibility. You listen very well. What if you have a question or an answer? Uh the teacher loves to have you ask a question or answer. Okay. What do you do when you hear the bell? You pay attention to your teacher right when you hear the bell and you drop your stuff. Okay. What if you forget your homework at home or in another class? You have to make it up um, another day. Okay. What, are you, what if you have to go to the bathroom? You are only allowed to go to the bathroom if you ask and... Sign in and sign out when you come back. Okay, perfect. Now, where do you go for a fire drill? Um, the teachers take it very seriously, so you just have to listen to the teacher. Very good. Now, what if you have to sharpen your pencil? If there's nobody there at the sharpener, you can just go up and sharpen your pencil. But yeah. if there is, you have to wait patiently. Okay. What if you're absent from school? If you're absent from school, you have to make up the work, work we missed. What about if you have band? What happens with the work? At the, end of the te at the end of the day, you have to tell your teacher and get the work you missed. Okay. 
Uh, when, uh, when you have snack, what can you bring and when do you eat it? You can have a 10 minute snack between breakfast and lunch. And what do you bring? Uh, what, what, what is a... And not, you can bring a meat and... No peanut butter, right? Yeah. Because it's nut-free. And why, why do you think that you have to have nut-free? Allergic. Yep. People get allergic. Now, what if you're confused or you need help? You better, um, you can ask the questions. And ask a lot of questions so you can get better and get the help you need. Okay, now I, I'm going to give you two extra credit questions, okay? Do you know how many states there are? Fifty. Yep. And do you know all the states? Uh, or can you tell me as many as you do know out of the fifty? No. Start with A. No. Okay. Do you, uh, do you know how many presidents there were? Um. No. We're up to the forty-third. And let me ask you this: What is the name of your president right now? Um, Barack Obama. Yep. Do you know the vice president's name? Probably not, right? Uh, no. Okay, now let me ask you, I, I, do you want a couple more questions? Uh, sure. Okay, so, you said there are 50 states, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what state do you live in? Um, United. New York. Oh. You live in New York, right? And let me ask you one other question. This one is for extra, extra, extra credit, okay? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you know what county you live in? Um, like you have Nassau County, where do you live? Suffolk. Yes, very good. So folks, as you can tell, this fourth grader, who's going to be waving at you right now, He's very smart. He scored over an 85 on his test. He got all these questions and answers correct. And uh, this is his, what, your fifth appearance or sixth? Uh, six. Sixth appearance here on the Take Your Life Back Today show. I hope to God that you all enjoyed it. Keep in mind, usually the topics are much heavier, not in weight, but in substance. But today we decided to go with the uh, quiz that was prior to this video and uh, the questions that most students ask their teachers. And you got to remember that not all the questions that shortstop asks are exactly what all students ask. Those are the questions that we came up with. Uh, I hope to God that um, uh, if you have a fourth grader at home, that uh, they pay attention as much as possible, that they do very well on their quizzes, and that even if they don't, Practice with them because when you practice, what happens when you practice? It makes what? Better. Yep. Practice makes perfect. So, I hope to God you had a great time today listening to Shortstop here. He will be back again one day. In the meantime, may God bless each and every one of you and have a great day. Bye-bye.